As the strike by more than 7,000 port workers on the West Coast drags on, Premier Scott Moe says the federal government needs to intervene. Moe spoke on the issue while meeting with other premiers in Winnipeg. We do need uh, some intervention here as we are losing uh, across Canada about half a billion to estimated three quarters of a billion dollars uh, in trade and export to value each and every day. About 20% of uh, what travels through the port of Vancouver comes from our province of Saskatchewan and about 40% of what we produce actually goes through that port. So it's imperative that we have access uh, and that port functioning. On Tuesday, the world's largest potash producer, Nutrien, announced it's reducing production at its Cory Potash mine because of a loss of export capacity through a terminal in Vancouver. The company says there are no job layoffs, but a prolonged work stoppage could impact production at other mines. Just this morning we saw, uh, you know, our, our, one of our largest, if not our largest potash producer, Nutrien, has curtailed uh, their production uh, due to the, the, the strike and the uh, lack of access to, uh, to, to, to loading facilities at the Port of Vancouver. And so, just as recent as this morning, there's one significant impact to the, the province of Saskatchewan and potentially uh, could result in, uh, you know, temporary or long-term layoffs. Workers walked off the job on July 1st, shutting down about 30 ports in BC, including Vancouver and Prince Rupert, two of the three busiest ports in Canada. The union is looking for increased wages and has concerns about contracting out and the impacts of automation. Mo says the federal government should be credited for putting mediators in place, but says Ottawa should consider legislating the workers back to work. The best agreements do come uh, through the bargaining process at the bargaining table, um, but we do need to utilize all of the tools available because the cost is just frankly too great. The Canadian Federation of Independent Business agrees. The CFIB says unless a deal can be negotiated immediately, Ottawa should intervene to protect small businesses from what it calls unfair punishments from circumstances outside their control. Adam Hunter, CBC News, Regina.